Come all right, on. all right. Uh huh. You good? Yeah. Everybody's good. All right. Were you rolling when he she thought? Okay. Um. Hi. Sorry. I'm sorry. What? It's play. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Cool. Just making sure. <laughs> all right. So give us uh let's hear your immediate reaction to Gen Three. What do you think? How they feel? Okay. I just put the the new teeth generation three. In yeah, play. yeah. What do you think? I love them. Yeah. It's like love at first sight. Yeah, yeah. They, they look what they play. I'd I'd say like I really like my uh, generation two irons. I've been playing those for the last two years. Yeah. Um, but I hit these ones and uh, they're a little bit better. Yeah. So what have you used the Gen three teeth? The T teeth play. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Have you tried them at all yet, or is it? Uh, I have yeah. a little. Yeah. Um, a couple of irons. Yeah. First thoughts. First thought is that they are amazing. Yeah. yeah. I am. Yeah. This is my this is my first time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hitting them, seeing them, and uh, getting a. What do you think? Uh, I'm very impressed so far. Um, I mean, they keep outdoing themselves every every generation. Nice tea irons. I, I'm three days into my relationship oh, okay. with them, and let me let me tell you, I, I try to temper my enthusiasm because sometimes I can get overexcited. Yeah, yeah we all get like that. But they are incredible. Right. They, they, it's like the iron I've always dreamed of playing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice swing. Beautiful golf. Should you break too much golf, Lenny? Get that on camera. Break too much golf. Get that on camera. Wow. I want to take a picture. You've got your camera here. Right, so I'm down here at uh, Scottsdale National Golf Club. I'm just chatting with Juan. We're going to a, uh, a custom fit for the Gen 3 Irons, and I'll come back and talk to you along the way as we go. We're starting off with uh, what is the P version. We'll see how we go with that and then we'll get advised onto what changes we look to make. Yeah. You like the way it feels? Yeah, yeah. I love the performance. Now, what I'm seeing in general, every once in a while you fade in. Yeah, not very often. Yeah. Kind of is tending to go left. Yeah. I'm watching the lie angle. I'm watching the computer. It looks a little off. Just a wee bit. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go one degree flat. Okay. Next five out. Yeah, it doesn't See, I like that. Um, yep. Uh, no, I didn't. I Now, in the past, that shot yeah. would have been your big one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. It didn't go that way. So, I like that. First time you hit it. Yeah. Scottish Pure. Yeah. Pure. Yeah. Exactly the same as ours. Right, so well, a little bit of more spin, yeah. a little bit, not much, a little bit. But I hate saying it, yeah. but you miss hit it yeah. to where the head P is going to play off. Huh? Yeah. So, like when you miss hit it, you drop 10 yards. Yeah, yeah. And you miss hit the P, three to four yards. Yeah. No, I totally agree. So, I mean, like, what's so the point? Now so, we're getting to we're picking up the audio uh, from back there. I hope you are anyway. But just to repeat, that is that uh, just with a few shots in with the T, which is a tour iron, uh, just a couple of weaker shots, I'm starting to lose 10 yards straight away in terms of performance. I wasn't doing that with the weaker shots um, with the P profile. And to be honest with you, at address, uh, no major great difference really, which is the reason perhaps why in the in the lower end of the bag you'd have been drawn towards those T irons. So. I love everything about this. So it's let's just say if you were doing a fit, yeah, everything is great. Okay, now that's that's science. Yeah. Okay. Now there's a part of this fitting. Was that the art? Okay. Now let's get away from the science. So much. I want you to give me a couple swings on these two different shafts. They're going to be performing the same. Now it's all about feet, what I get. Right. So again, changes we just made. Uh, a really interesting thing that Juan just said. We've got some good numbers in terms of trackman with the last uh, shaft that I had in. Uh, but we're going to try move away maybe from trackman numbers and just get some general feel on what we've got another couple of shafts we're going to try and then my my sort of uh, my personal feedback how does it feel in the hand uh, what kind of confidence does it breed and i think that's a great thing to just move away from numbers for a little bit uh, we don't want to lose anything but see what it does in terms of uh, feel and confidence when i've got it in the hand so we'll see 
Uh, by the way, this is Josh from Taiwan. Hi, Hi nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, what is it? Just a quick mention in terms of what I'm getting back so far is uh, we're only using one head, don't forget to find out where it sits in terms of the shaft and what the feel of these things is, uh, is unreal. That was a big story about the, the way this product now feels was a sort of mix between almost Gen 1 and Gen 2. Uh, but yeah, incredible feel. Now one of the things is this. Okay. Grand weight is very similar, okay, but where is that weight? Yeah. Okay. This one here is pushing a little bit more weight to the chest. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's going to feel, some people will say it feels very balanced. Yeah. Then some people will say, I can't feel the head. No, I think a bit, well, a bit stability is the word I was going to say. Okay, Just good. down at the feeling more aware the club head is. Now nothing will ever feel like that shaft. It's a yeah. steel fiber. Right. Graphite in the core. Wand with steel fibers yeah, on the exterior. Yeah. It has a very unique feel. Yeah. So if you like, some people don't like it. Yeah, no, I really, uh, again, just recognizing where that club head is yeah. through the swing was nice. And for those of you who still sort of question the benefit of custom fit, the movement from where we've come from, where we started, to where I am right now is incredible. Uh, it's a real move forward, and like I said, just working with these people at PXG, they really know what they're doing, and the changes that have been made, that's an incredible. We just made a um, I changed the lie angle there, I was just going to ask what it was exactly, but we made a change to the lie angle and again, just these little differences make such a difference to your overall performance. What I want you to do is, we got all the numbers we need, yeah. Yeah. got the lie, we got the shaft, yeah. everything is good. Now get away from that 179, yeah. and now start to play golf. Yeah. And now if it makes sense to you, you're playing golf, a really good fitting club, when you hit it, and you look up, it's where you want it to be. So say you're playing, um, say you're playing in the UK, a little bit of a win, yeah. and you want to kind of get a little knock down shot, yeah. try it, make sure it's where you want it to be. Yep. So, visually, when you're looking at a range that's this size, anywhere that alignment wise makes sense for you. David gave me some low posts. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's where I have. Like it? Like it? Did I do the same exact thing? I got it. How does that feel? That's a big difference. Yeah. It feels better. Huh? Yeah, I love it. Now what I'm going to do, I love the weight. Yeah. I like the contact. You get a lot more ball speed. Yeah. Now keep in mind, you know, it's kind of simple um, physics, but if going lighter doesn't mean more speed, you're not going to get more distance. Yeah. Yeah. If you swing at the same speed with a heavier shaft, you get more distance. No, there's a noticeable difference there. So now I'm going to go same, same gram weight. Now I'm going to give you a, a, a shaft profile that's going to launch it just a touch lower. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, because the last couple of shots were good on numbers, just a touch high. Yeah, yeah. And I'd rather, so like an average person might say, well then, just de lock on the ground. Yeah. What does that do? It also affects the bounce, which is the sole. Yeah. Now if you affect the sole too much, it's never going to be a good turf interaction. So I'd much rather fit you so you get a shaft. Yeah. 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 We're changing to this shaft and uh, straight. I didn't want to get too excited, sort of two shots in, but again, just personal feel. Steel fiber. And again, we've picked up the audio, but I'll repeat that. Steel fiber shaft bit more weight down at uh, the lower end and it certainly feels a, a lot more stable I really like the feel I like the way I can feel where the club head is throughout the swing so it's uh, I'm liking this a lot well that's me pretty much uh, done and uh, I gotta say the, the situation we ended up in is uh, it, fantastic like I said the big difference their head the feel was was good throughout every shaft I used um, but the steel fiber 110 we ended up with uh, one degree flat half inch longer that's the setup was uh, was just absolutely there's no excuses when bad shots happen out there on the course that's all gonna be down to the average golfer. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, thank you. Magic chair, sir.
Okay. All right, all right. Uh huh. You good? Yeah. Everybody's good. All right. Were you rolling when he shot? Okay. Um. Hi. Uh, one of the questions I had for you was, what was your expectations coming in for the Gen Three? Did this exceed them? Meet them? I mean, we have oh, it, ex it exceeded them because I, unfortunately I'm a skeptic, and uh, the 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 thing was that, like I said before, Gen Two was so good. The difficulty I think PXT has is how do you keep on moving forward because, um, like I said, the Gen 2 was so good, where do you go next? But there was, a, without doubt, a noticeable difference. I haven't seen numbers wise, but in terms of gains, the big deal for me, what I like about a club is how it stands and feels that's a major thing and there's a, there's, a, there's a difference there, without doubt. So if you, could, um, if you could describe the club in just about three words, what would those be? Um, soft, powerful and forgiving. Um, and then just a little bit about the, the fitting and the experience with that. Um, did you get any big takeaways from the master fitters here with PXG? Yeah, and again, I think it's uh, credit to PXG. Their fit is without doubt, you know, it's unquestionably good. Um, and then again, the experience of the fitters is to change it from where we started uh, to where I ended up was a significant difference. Um, but one that as a golfer, I could recognize um, massively. And we talked at the end there about the confidence that it gives you to, to pick that club out the bag with the confidence in the shaft head combination. Uh, so no, it was, uh, I'm delighted with where it sort of ended up. And uh, yeah, I'm funny at seven out of the minute, so I can't wait to try the rest. <laughs>